That catastrophe that was the 2016 algae crisis lives on today. A devastating discovery Wednesday may be tied to the ongoing water woes on the Treasure Coast. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan with our story in Martin County. A retired fishing guide made this sad discovery this week, confirming her decision to leave this place. Decades of living along the St. Lucie River, it's now come to this. This water is far from perfect. Marsha Fusner cannot go on any longer. I can't. It hurts me to look at it. Her house is now up for sale. She's leaving. And her discovery Wednesday is her confirmation. A conservative estimate would have been 75 of them. She found dozens of conks covered in muck dead. Thursday, more pictures. Dirty brown water and dead shells and very few fish. Terry Gibson of Jensen Beach sees this quite often, actually. Deterioration. This is kind of the remnant. Mark Perry with Florida's Oceanographic Society told me with the loss of hundreds of acres of seagrass after 2016, it's not surprising to find the dead conks. Along came the discharges and wiped out their habitat, their food source, and now we end up with uh, the dead conch shells. Bad news for the ecology of the lagoon. And more bad news for those who tried so hard to stay here. Somewhere. Like Marsha. I want to look at what I was looking at when I first got here. Now Perry says he is working with his colleagues to replenish seagrass along the lagoon to reverse this troubling trend. In Martin County, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 